doing some research and I realized that our VC and tourism contribute a lot to our GDP. And if a country will survive, will be strong, I think their focus should be in the area of aviation. In my research, I realized that yes, aviation and tourism alone contributed about 3.7 billion US dollars in the previous years. And before COVID, before COVID came to existence, and during the time of COVID, our our GDP rate decreased by about one B. That's 2020 we had one point nine billion US dollars. So I believe and I believe Many government, policy makers, and private sectors, and those that contribute to the aviation and tourism debt. We should focus much in our aviation industry and tourism industry if really we want to grow our Ghanaian economy. Because there are a lot of things government is doing every day to you know grow the economy. But if government for the first time will sit down and say that okay. Let me invest more in the aviation and tourism industry. And I believe that if we're able to do this, believe you me, the next time we are not coming here, or rather the next time all of us will be going to Ghana to experience, the, I don't know how we're going to call it, whether Ghana Poo 2020 something years to come. But believe you me, if we are able and we are determined as a nation we want to grow, Let's focus on the aviation and tourism industry because there are a lot and a lot to learn, especially when it comes to Ghana. And to add something to the Ghana Pavilion stand we, we, we saw yesterday. At a point, I was sad, but I went to Benin, I was happy. <laughs> Benin too said, when she, she, she got to her side, she was sad. But I realized that, at least, there's something they're showcasing. And although nobody was at the Benin stand to explain to us what this means, what this means, but I realized that all these people, yeah, they want, they want to sell something to us. But I went to my homeland place, and I realized that I was struggling to identify certain common things that everybody has heard about Ghana. Especially they're not like Coco. Because if nothing at all, you should have been able to bring a Coco tree or a Coco. If nothing at all, we should be able to showcase everybody in okay, Ghana, we produce gold, some particles, gold dust, to show to the world that okay, when you come to Ghana, I can come and invest. I can come and do some kind of investment here. At least, like, uh, we have some of our food. You see, when I was coming, in fact, I, I was struggling to get food to eat. So at least, I would go to Ghana stand. We get some small, you know, wache, uh, and you know, you know, these are some of the things that will attract people. I, I met a lady and she was holding our Ghana flag. And I asked, are you a Ghanaian? She said, no, but she loved Ghana. Yes. She's in love with her country because probably she has heard a lot, but let her walk in there, she wants to identify, I have not been to that country before. But okay, this, this, and to me, we didn't have anything to showcase. Thank you and very much. I'm, I'm going back to my country, I'm going to sit down with my youth and tell them, Jack, I'm going to Expo 2020, and Ghana, we didn't have anything to write home about. And that's my, what I observed. Thank you. Thank you very much.